everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to another how to build video where I'll be showing you how to build five more armor stand decorations. Now, recently I did 10 armor stand decorations. A lot of people enjoyed that video. I had a lot of fun making that video, so I decided to make five new ones. Now, I'll give you one second if you could guess which one's my favorite one up here. So, one, and if you guess number five, you are absolutely right. That is my absolute favorite one out of all five of these. So, I'm going to be working from the left hand side over to the right hopefully you know what all of these are the only one that i can maybe guess that you might not understand what it is is over here to the left so the first one over here is a painting easel if you don't know what a painting easel is if you have an art class in school or maybe you just look up bob ross just look up bob ross it's usually those big wooden things that hold canvases down so you can paint without having to worry about it knocking down and all that good stuff that's what a painting easel is so as you can see right here it's just a painting easel you can go ahead and put something inside the item frame if you want or instead of using an item frame you can go ahead and use a painting but i think the item frame looks absolutely the best because it's a tiny bit smaller than the painting next up for number two this is just well it's pretty explanatory it's a bush it's a it's a bush or a small tree <laughs> all i did was i took about like five or six armor stands then i took leather armor and i dyed them up and i made this awesome looking bush and if you use soul sand the armor stands actually sink into the soul sand so it looks like the trunk is going right into the dirt now this one maybe it's not really a giveaway all this is is a small jack-o-lantern so with a normal jack-o-lantern this is what it looks like and of course if we switch it to nighttime the jack-o-lantern will give off light however my small jack-o-lantern right here gives off light as well all it is is an armor stand in the ground and then what i did was i placed a torch inside the armor stand so this little tiny jack-o-lantern gives off light next up for number four is the mob head painting now the cool thing about this is it expands your selection of paintings now you don't have to use the same paintings over and over again you can now use any mob head that you want and change out the painting so maybe you want a pumpkin instead maybe you want steve's face maybe you want a skeleton and maybe you want a zombie maybe you want a wither skeleton this one is absolutely cool i actually really really love this one but the last one's still my absolute favorite one but this one is definitely awesome because like i said it expands your selection of paintings now you don't have to use the same paintings on over again you can go ahead and use mob heads instead and then last but not least if you guys guessed it i hope you did it's astronaut steve yep this is our astronaut right here what i did was i used a beacon so it kind of looks like the inside of the helmet and then i just dyed up a bunch of leather armor with white and made astronaut steve so let's go ahead and start building all five of these i'm going to be starting from the left hand side to the right and i will most likely put timestamps underneath the names so you can go ahead and just skip to whichever one that you wanted to see all right guys so the first armor stand decoration is going to be the painting easel so come up two blocks place a sign off this block you don't have to write anything on it then we're going to go ahead and go into sneak mode and place in our item frame you can also use a painting if you want but the item frame looks the best to me next up we're going to come out three power rails from here well right underneath this we're going to come out four so come out four right underneath the sign so one two three four next up we're going to place our armor stand off the third power rail right here or the second power rail whatever you want to say so one two three or one two and i want you guys to keep placing down the armor stand until you get the straightest armor stand you can get because every time you place them down they kind of go off to the side crooked and it looks real bad what you want is the straightest looking one so we're going to place this down and as you can see that looks horrible see how it's going sideways like that we don't want that one we're going to keep placing it down until we get a nice straight one nope that one's horrible that one's absolutely horrible come sometimes they're really bad i don't know why so we're going to keep placing it down until we get that nice looking arm stand and there we go that's not a bad one right there you want it so it's like barely going to decide at all next up we're going to take out our mine cart and we're just going to push it just push our armor stand until it's behind that item frame right over there so just keep tapping it and tapping it and tapping it until it's behind you might go past it don't worry about that it's absolutely fine but when it go ahead and go like that and as you can see it's too far so what you're going to do is just break that and then place another mine cart here and it should actually push it a little bit and then we're just going to tap a tiny bit and there uh, and nope that's still too much i still went too far it's a little bit annoying sometimes you just want to tap it and back up Come on, be perfect, be perfect. Nope. Tap it back up. And that might be perfect. That might be good. And there we go. Perfect. That's absolutely fine. So now all we have to do is break all of our rails. And there you guys go. There is the painting easel. And like I said, if you want to, you can go ahead and get rid of your item frame by looking up. I believe you have to look up to the corner like this and break it. Yep. And then what you're going to do is just go into sneak mode and place in your painting. So now it looks like someone has painted on the easel. All right, guys. So next up is going to be that tiny tree or shrub or whatever you want to call it. It's just a very, very tiny tree. What I want you to start off by doing is breaking a block and placing down some soul sand. Next up, what I want you to do is take out a leather tunic and a leather cap and some line dye or you can use dark green dye it doesn't really matter and i want you to go ahead and dye both of those place down your armor stand and then go ahead and place your tunic and cap right on top of it next up we're going to come up three blocks from here one two and three and then place a block right above it now this one is straight on with us so what we're going to do is come right here and we're going to place one sideways next and then go ahead and put a leather tunic and a leather cap on it and then break that block and it will fall into place and we're going to do it again place a block above it now this time instead of going sideways we're going to come over to here and place down another one place down a leather tunic a cap and go ahead and break it and now it's going to fall into place and we're going to do it yet again we're going to come over here come to the side place down that go ahead and place down your leather tunic and your cap 
break it and let it fall into place so let's see how this one is looking right now it's still a little wompy on this side i don't like that so i'm going to place another one down like this place another one coming all the way from the back with a leather tunic and a cap and we're gonna go ahead and break it and now it should look pretty good and yep that one's absolutely fine so there we go guys that's how easy that little shrub tree was to make and for number three we're gonna go ahead and build the, the tiny jack-o-lantern so all you have to do is break down two blocks one two then we're gonna take out some snow and place down six pieces of snow so one two three four five six just like that next up place your armor stand on top of your snow and then place your pumpkin on top of your armor stand then we're going to take out a slab and we're going to come up two blocks one two place your slab upside down like that off the second block place a piston facing downwards into that slab and then send power to your piston like that place another block here and then just send power to your piston once again go ahead and break this block and now our jack-o-lanterns in the floor or i should say pumpkin not a jack-o-lantern then go ahead and just place your torch in and that should be it guys and if you want to you don't have to use a pumpkin for this you can go ahead and use any type of mob head that you want but of course the pumpkin looks the best next up for number four is one of my favorite ones this one is the mob head painting so what i want you to do is first find out where your wall is so right here's my wall so i want my armor stand painting to be right here so off of this block i'm going to break down this block place in an enchantment table and then right behind it place in another enchantment table then off this front one right here i'm going to go into sneak mode place my armor stand right on top of the enchantment table with the mob head on top of the armor stand then right in front of it i'm going to place a block right here so make sure you get that block in and then right behind it i'm going to place in two rails take out a minecart and then we're going to push our minecart until it's inside those enchantment tables just like that Next up, we're just going to push armor stand until it's all the way up against that block. So it can't go any further. So just keep pushing until that armor stand can't go any further into those blocks. So now you can see the heads poking out just a tiny bit from the block. So we no longer need that. And we no longer need this block as well. Next up, we're going to come right above our armor stand and place in a staircase normally like that. Next up, place a piston facing downwards into that staircase like this. And then just go ahead and send power to it. Then right off of the staircase, we're going to go ahead and place in our item frame like this. And then right above it, we're going to place in another staircase upside down, just like that. So make sure it's upside down. It kind of looks like a backward C. And then we're going to send power to it once again. And there you guys have it. That's the entire thing. So now all you have to do is break these rails, break this enchantment table. That one's no longer needed. And then go ahead and just place a block right here. And now you can go ahead and change your mob head however you like. So if I wanted to uh, change it to anything else, <laughs> let me just take out a bunch of different mob heads. So if I wanted to change it to a skeleton, bam. If I want to change it to a wither skull, bam. If I want to change it to a zombie, there we go. And if I want a Steve on there, there we have it. And last but not least, it's time to build astronaut Steve, which is my absolute favorite one. So what you want to start off by doing is placing down an end portal frame. Then behind your end portal frame, come up three blocks. One, two, three. Place your beacon off of the third block. Then coming out from this end portal frame, come out at least two blocks, one, two, and then place down a redstone block with three powered rails all along these blocks. Then right here at the front one, we're going to place down our armor stand and then place down your mob head on top of your armor stand. You can use whatever you'd like. I think astronaut Steve looks the best, but you can change it out to whatever you want. It's just like the painting. You can go ahead and just change the head mob heads whenever you feel like it. Next up, we're going to take out our minecart and then just push your minecart right into the armor stand. So boop, and it should fall right in the place. So now we no longer need all of this stuff right here. And then next up, what I want you to do is actually break this block right here. And then we're going to place blocks all around this minecart to go around the entire minecart with blocks. And then this back block right here, we're going to push into our armor stand. So make sure it's the back of it. So right here should be the front of your Steve. And then right here should be the back part of your Steve. See, we can see his head right there. So we're going to come out two blocks, one, two, and then place a piston facing towards our armor stand and then send power to it. That will make it so we can see the front part of Steve's head. And that's what we want. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and place blocks up around this entire beacon. So come around the entire beacon with blocks just like this. And then we're going to come to the front part of our Steve, break this middle block, and then go ahead and break the minecart just like that. Now we can go ahead and get rid of every single one of these blocks. Just make sure you don't hit your armor stand or else you're going to have to redo everything. Now, as you can see right now, I can't see my Steve head and it, it stinks when that happens. Kind of stinks when this happens, but there's an easy way to get around this. All we have to do is come out a few blocks place down a minecart and then we just got to push it a little bit forward until we could see our steve head hopefully this doesn't happen to you but if it does happen to you you're gonna have to do what i'm doing right here we're just gonna have to keep pushing our minecart into our armor stand until we could see our steve head just like that and i actually got really lucky there that went a little further than i wanted it to but as you can see now astronaut steve looks absolutely perfect hopefully you didn't have to do that but if you did just make sure you do it nice and slow don't really like push it like i just did there so now what we can do is dress up our steve so go ahead and take out your leather and we're gonna go ahead and dye that white so we're gonna take out leather tunic one two three and then we're going to take out some bone meal and we're going to go ahead and bone meal up all our leather so it is nice and white 
and then we're gonna go ahead and change our astronaut steve's outfit so he actually looks like an astronaut now like i said if you want to you can change the mob head i think astronaut steve looks the funniest but it's completely up to you so if you want to change it to a creeper now it's a creeper astronaut now it's a zombie astronaut so on and so forth so there you guys have that's how you build all five armor stand builds if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to see two of my newest videos all right guys peace